Good morning and welcome to Random Acts of Poetry. Uh, this particular poem, I really, really like this poem. It might take a little bit of unpicking for some people who can be bothered to unpick it. It was written in a response to self-induced insanity, I guess. And also this strange quest that we have for enlightenment or breaking through the boundaries of sanity. I actually wrote this poem out in, in calligraphy with a beautiful um, lotus flower behind it and sent it to a friend of mine who, is, uh, who was struggling at the time, um, which reminds me I must get in touch with her because I've not heard from her for a while. Um, so the lotus eater is a very ancient concept. The Egyptians believed that the blue lotus allowed you to have prophetic visions. The Greeks, they used lotuses as part of their mystery traditions. And no doubt the Tibetans and the Indians will have used the lotus as part of their mystery tradition. So that brings me to the poem of the lotus eater. The Lotus Eater Clawing in the mud with an uncertainty that slowly gnaws away the illusion of safety. Bathed in moonlight, the lilting wind plays a flute-like with the bewildered soul, who takes heed eventually. Shining bright amidst the filth, tantalisingly out of reach, a pure bloom of passion unfolds its purity for those who can clearly see.